Welcome to the series where I test out the OSR's wiki money making guides. I started this series almost a year ago and since then we've tried out multiple methods even if they're a little silly such as picking bananas or even flax. If you enjoy these types of videos then feel free to check out the playlist that I've made for them and feel free to leave a suggestion down in the comments for a method that you'd like to see tested. With that being said, let's get into the video. So it's that time again where I do a very silly moneymaker that no one should ever do for any reason unless you're in free to play. This might actually be a decent moneymaker for free to play, I'm not entirely sure since it has been some time since I've been locked to uh, free to play and I've had to do free to play moneymakers. So maybe it's worth it, but I don't know. Um, in all honesty, this seems like it would be more worth it for the prayer experience, but I'll leave that up to you. So as you can see here, there are some different methods that we can do in order to get different amounts of money. Uh, this is a free to play money maker, so I'll just be using free to play methods. We'll be doing this method right here where we teleport to Varrock and then walk back to the boneyard to pick up the stuff. And that should net us around 210 big bones. But if you were to do this on a member's world for whatever reason, you could expect up to 295. Now for this one hour, we'll be sticking to free to play worlds only to make this more fair. As you can see, we're on 394, not a skill total world, so anyone has access to this area. As for the gear setup, all we're bringing is some fire runes, law runes, and a staff of air in order to teleport to Varrock. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You could bring one of each every time you come over here, so you're not risking that much, but I mean, in all honesty, if I die with 10 runes, it, it's not that much, so I'm just gonna have all the runes that I need here. This is the spot known as the Boneyard, and this is where we will be picking up the big bones. Now there's six spawns here, and I think that they spawn back fast enough to where I don't have to hop worlds, but if it's, if that's not the case, then I will be hopping worlds. Um, if you do get attacked by a PKer, uh, don't be scared. You have the Iron Skimmy spawn over here. And uh, yeah, you can do some serious damage with this thing, so uh, don't be afraid to fight back. Now, there are some skeletons around here, so if you are low level, be careful because they are aggroed no matter what your level is. So be careful of that. And this is this is multi-combat, so you can be attacked by multiple people. Uh, so be careful of the clans that are after big bones, I guess. So I know in the beginning I said that I wasn't going to hop worlds because they spawn back fast enough for me to just stay on this one world. But I found out that it's a lot better if you do hop worlds since you can pick up a lot more bones per hour. So what I would do is I would pick up all the big bones from left to right pop world and then pick them up from right to left rather than just going one way. I decided to make the change at the 15 minute mark so keep in mind that however many bones we have at the end you can get a lot more than that or at least a good decent amount. Now it's also worth noting that you can bring energy potions if you are in free to play or even stamina potions if you are in members worlds but because the profit per hour is so low I think if you were to bring those it would just end up eating into your profits way too much to make this even less worth it. You might even go into the negatives. So as you would imagine, the method for doing this is very simple. All I would do is fill up my inventory with big bones, teleport to Varrock, bank at the east bank, and then make my way all the way back to the area. And yes, I would walk all the way up there, and it actually made for some pretty cool shots. I mean, just walking through the world uh, and having it be time lapse just looks pretty cool. I also angled the camera down lower so that we can see more of the world and it's kind of cool looking at this RuneScape world that we play in every day from a different perspective. Most of the time I play with an aerial view but playing like this is actually kind of cool. And I gotta say I was very immersed. Now if you still want to try this in members worlds for whatever reason, maybe you just like the idea of picking up a big bones in a graveyard, in a very spooky graveyard that is. Um, don't forget that you can also bring a looting bag, so essentially you can double the amount of big bones that you can bring in one trip. Now when I first started this video, I was debating whether I should wear armor for this. At first I was thinking that it would only be for the PKers, but then I found out that it would be very helpful against the skeletons, because even with 99 defense, at level 25, they can still hit pretty hard. The reason why I didn't end up bringing the armor though is because I knew that we would be doing a lot of walking and running, and being heavier would just impact our stamina too much and I didn't want to have to deal with that. But if you do decide to bring it, just make sure that you take it off if you are being attacked by magic. Also, this is your daily reminder to collect your battle staffs from Zaf if you haven't already. 
And with that being said, we are approaching the end of collecting big bones for one entire hour. And I gotta say, it wasn't that bad. I mean, maybe if I did this for a longer period of time, I would hate it, but I think the walking slowly throughout the world was kind of nice. Alright, so I've finished the one hour of collecting, um, uh, nice username. <laughs> I finished the one hour of collecting big bones. So if we pull all of them out, do a little price check on those, and it's about 6.2k. So again, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing this for money. Um, maybe if you're free to play, maybe this is decent, I'm not sure. Uh, but you're probably better off just staying in the boneyard and burying these if you are free to play. Uh, that way you can get some prayer XP. Of course, it's very, very slow prayer XP, but you know, it's it's the best way that you can train it in free to play. And there we go, ints the cell for 26,676 GP. All right, so cost of supplies, a whopping 1,089 GP. So after that hour, we did manage to get about 25K GP in profit, as well as a little bit of magic XP for casting Varrock Teleport. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe even a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you.